Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to work with the SuperShine extension. This is the SuperShine extension user interface, and here we have two options to adjust the light movement horizontally or vertically. And in this part, you can see the shine type, and if you move the cursor over this part, you can see a simple preview of the final result. In this section, there are four types of shines to choose from. The preview section will display the changes you make. Also, by activating the distortion option at the bottom of the preview section, you can activate the wavy mode for shine, which can also be seen in the preview. Well, let's begin by selecting a layer, adjusting the necessary settings, and then clicking the apply button. Done. A new layer was created and a super shine was applied. On our super shine layer, there are two markers to set the start and end time of the light movement. And we can change the time and speed of movement by moving the layer or the markers. Also, by selecting the layer and going to the Effect Controls panel, we can access the complete settings of the SuperShine that we created. By choosing the SuperShine setting effect, the guide points for the start and end of shine will appear for us, and we can move them to our desired location. Also, the location of these two points can be accessed and changed in the Effect settings. I adjusted the shine color in the settings and enabled the Reverse Motion option to change the movement from the end point to the start point. Additionally, I explored two other options to adjust the rotation at the beginning and end points, which resulted in a beautiful effect. It's as if the rotation changes to show the time between the start and end points. Here we also have the width scale option, which we can use to increase and decrease the thickness of the glossy layer. And to change the amount of skewness of the layer, here we have an option that we can change its value, in addition to the opacity option to change the transparency of the layer. And the option blur is used to soften the edges of the shine. Here's a tip. We can disable or enable guides in After Effects space by pressing the Ctrl Shift H keys on Windows or Command Shift H keys on Mac OS. This is very useful in your work routine. I can easily duplicate my original SuperShine layer many times using the Ctrl D shortcut, use it at different times and with different settings, and repeat my effect many times and improve it. Hmm, easy and useful. Well, let's go back to the settings on the distortion section. Here we can give our shine layer a dynamic wavy state by activating the distortion option. And we also have access to more settings in this section to change the mode, size, and other distortions. The next important option is Ease Motion, which by being active when the shine layer starts moving and when it reaches the end point, it starts and ends smoothly. When this option is disabled, the movements will be linear and without ease. And after that, we have two additional effects to be applied to our main effect, Block Effect and Mirror Effect, which also have settings that you can watch the modes they create in the rest of the video. And finally, the Effect Mode option. By activating this option and applying SuperShine, the layer that is created has the feature of applying the effects you need, such as the glow effect that is applied to the layer by default. In this case, you can add other desired effects to this layer and enjoy the new results you create. Thank you for watching this tutorial.